Hello, welcome to this channel. Today we are going to learn about Microsoft Office Excel and uh, we are going to start with exercise 1 uh, but before then we need to learn what a spreadsheet is which is Excel. It is a computer program that can be used for automatic computations and calculations. So we will do the first exercise which will enable us to learn more features about the excel so i'll open the application that is the microsoft excel so we have the taskbar under the taskbar you realize that we have the home view we have the insert we have the page layout we have the formulas we have the data we have the reviews we have the view so we shall be using most of these and under the home we have the card we have the copy and then we have the wrap text which is mostly used which makes whole content visible within a cell by displaying it on multiple lines we also have margin sender which we'll be using is used to join the selected cells into one larger cell and send us the contents in the new cell it is often used to create labels that span multiple columns so we also have uh, the how to sum under the auto sum when you click on the arrow you realize that we have the sum we have the half range we have the count numbers the maximum and minimum and we have more functions on that so we will be doing that as we do the exercises but for today i want us to start with the first exercise which is exercise one so it is this one so i'll open the application the excel application and type this particular details then we'll do the following questions so you'll allow me to open the excel function and then type that so if you look in the the cell range is from cell a1 to cell g8 so you highlight from a up to g then coming down from rows number one to rows number eight then we have go to borders and we apply all borders so once you apply all the borders you highlight from cell range a1 to cell range g8 then we apply margin sender to join the selected cells into one larger cell so i click margin sender then i'll be able to type that particular information so i type code automatic once i type that i'll click on line 2 so under line 2 i will need to apply wrap text the wrap text allows us to make all content visible within a cell by displaying it on multiple lines so just click cell cell 2 or row 2 and then you click wrap text so once you click wrap text then you can now be able to type that particular information on that uh, specific cell so I'll type that then I type salesperson so since we have already applied the top text when you type the salesperson it will be able to space automatically so you just proceed and continue typing that then I type the next one so I'm going to fill this table so that you may be able to do the questions together So it is easy to use the application just that you need to master the calculations once you get them you'll be able to do any calculations using the spreadsheet program which is excel so i'm simply filling in the information for 
this time so that you will be able to do the questions together. this specific table under the Microsoft Excel application so once we fill that we are going to do the following questions so the question says that create the worksheet shown above in sheet 1 and rename it as color so we should rename this particular sheet 1 as color so I go back to our application we have sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 so our particular information has been typed under the worksheet one so you right click under the sheet one using the mouse then you click on the name then you type the name coro so that is how you rename any specific sheet you just go to that specific sheet then you right click you choose rename then you write the name which is required for you to type there yeah? so after that we will go to the second question or the third question which says we set the columns a and b to 9 and the columns c and d to 11 so we set columns a and b to 9 and columns c and d to 11 so we'll go back to our question so i select the columns a and b at the same time then you right click under the selected area then you click on the column width so they say that we set columns a and b to 9 so the width should be 9 so you write 9 and you press ok you realize that the columns between a and b has been increased from the previous value to 9 then you select cell c and d column c and d you right click then you click column width to 11 then you press ok so you realize that the length between c to d has been increased simultaneously so after that we will proceed to the next question it says that we set the height of row 2 as 40 we set the height of row 2 as 40 so we will go back to application then i click on row 2 i right click at row 2 select row height so we are told to set the height of row 2 as 40 so we just type 40 then you press ok so you realize that the height between 1 and 2 has increased to 40 so that is enlarging the height of the cell row 2 after that we will proceed to the next question which says that align all columns labels horizontally and vertically center we align all columns labels horizontally and vertically center so i'll go back to application you click that is you just click above one to select the whole worksheet then we have alignment here so you click the arrow then it is loading just a few minutes. So once you click alignment, we have the horizontal and we have the vertical. So we need to align our cells horizontal and vertically center. So under the horizontal you choose center, under the vertical you choose center, then you press OK. So you will realize that all our values have been centered from the vertical side view and from the horizontal side view. 
so after that we'll proceed to the next question which says after entering data insert a new row between rows 2 and 3 after entering data insert a new row between rows 2 and 3 so i go back to our question we have rows 2 and 3 so we want to insert a new row between the 2 and 3 so you click on cell range on row 3 then you click on insert so there are two options you can click on insert or you just right click the 3 and click insert so both they work but you can just click the 3 then you click on insert so that is how you insert a new row between the two rows so this row 3 we want it to remain with the normal row height which is usually 15 so you just click between 3 and 4 you double click and we remain with the normal size after that we proceed to the next question which says we format column f to include dollar sign and two decimal places format column f to include dollar sign and two decimal places so we'll go back to our application that is excel then i click on column f so we need to apply dollar sign and two decimal places so you just click under the general still at home you click at dollar sign then you double click between F and G to space so we have the values having the dollar sign and also having two decimal places so after that we we'll go to the next question which says we send the worksheet vertically and horizontally on the bench we send the worksheet vertically and horizontally on the bench so we we'll go back to our application we select the whole bench and ensure that the whole sheet is aligned under the sender and sender so suppose they were left and right we would click this middle and middle here to place the whole bench at the center so after that we have the next question which says that we save the file the file name excel1 in the next exam folder we save the file with the name excel1 the next exam folder so i'll go back to application then we save this specific file as excel1 so that is it so thanks for watching our video next we will proceed to exercise 2 in the next video thanks make sure you subscribe to our channel and like the videos we'll be sharing more on the microsoft office so thanks